hello all uh, in our last video we have seen till controller and the data path component how to join this now next uh, uh, you can see this c uh, c is an input to the controller what are the c is an input to the controller tot lts is nothing but an input to the controller this signal is nothing but a uh, comparator output so if the comparison if tot is less than uh, s that means the signal is 1 if tot lt if tot value means your uh, coin value is more than s then tot lts will be becoming 0 if it is becoming 0 depending upon that it is going to generate the another, next signal that is nothing but it will make d equal to 1 s a, a is an input to the a is a coin value s is a set value of uh, soda va pricing what we are setting now next we will see uh, this is nothing but at a finite, uh, high level state machine we are converting into the finite state machine. Now here, now this is, so we are here uh, in an initial state d equal to 0, tot clear is equal to 1. This is nothing but here I am making the tot register, I am clearing it. So for that I am making tot clear equal to 1. Now next, it anyhow it will enter into the wait state. Now after entering into the wait state, it will if will check for the coin if the coin is present then it will enter into the add state it will add the add the coin value with tot and uh, after addition the uh, the value is loaded into the uh, the register tot register if tot ld equal to 1 so when after addition when it is coming into this state uh, while coming it will make tot ld equal to 1 now after coming over here then it will check whether the if the coin is there again it will go into the add state if coin is not there then it will check for the two conditions whether your tot lts is equal to 1 or whether it is 0 if it is 1 that means your coin value which has been uh, which we have received is less than the set value that is s so that means it will wait for the next coin if it is uh, if it is uh, 0 that means your TOT value is greater than S and it can, then the soda can be dispensed. So it can come into the dispense state and it will make D equal to 1. D equal to 1 that means it is coming into the uh, an initial state and again it is making D equal to 0 and TOT clear equal to 1. Now what we are doing right. So now we have to represent this same. We will convert this into the uh, truth table right. That is this table is called as a state table and with the present state and the next state. This is what 0, 0, 0, 1. This is nothing but we are giving the number to this encode codes. Initial state 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. We are using 2 bit because we have 4 state. Now it will enter from 0, 0 to this state depending upon means see there is no condition for coming over here. First of all when it is in this state what it will do? It will make this clear signal equal to 1. That is its function. Now, what are the inputs? Now, here, first of all, state, present state, S1, S0, C is nothing but coin and TOT, LTS. So, what are the input to the controller that we have seen? This C, this TOT, LTS is nothing but an input to the controller. So, that is nothing but coming as an input to this truth table. What is output N1, N0 is a next state. D is nothing but when the soda is to be dispensed, that will make D equal to 1 or 0. TOT, LD. Uh, when after doing the addition, this signal should be 1, TOT clear, at the start it should become 1. Now here you can see, when it is in 0, 0 state, that, that means when it is in an initial state, there is no effect of C signal. C is giving effect over here, where it, uh, even though, and even the TOT LTS is giving effect over here. That means irrespective of TOT LTS and C, it will come into the wait state. So that means you can see, this 0, 0, irrespective of this, it will come into the 0, 1 state. And what it is doing? It is D, D is 0, TOT LD is 0 and TOT clear. That means it is clearing the TOT register when it is coming into the wait state. After coming into the wait state, what it is doing? Now you can see there are some possibilities. Now when it is coming into the wait state, if C is 1, what is happening? If C is 1, so what will happen? it will come into see whether tot lds is 1 or 0 if coin will come it will come into the next state that is the add state it will do the addition right and you can see there is nothing happening over here now if it is in a 0 1 state and coin is 0 then if coin is 0 that means it needs to check whether the tot value is more than s or less than s 
so if it is 1 this signal represent that tot value is less than s that means if it is less than add one less than s that means it has to wait for more coins so that means it will remain in the same state it will wait for the coin as we have seen it will wait for the coin over here but if this value is 1 what will happen it will enter into the next state that is 1 0 so you can see it is when it is 0 0 it is coming into the next state that is nothing but dispense state which is the last state 1 1 and there is no effect over here now next is when it is in a 1 0 1 0 is nothing but a add state right in add state what is happening see in add state there is no meaning of this when it is in a add state it will do the addition right and after doing the addition it will come back to this state so there is no effect of c or a t o t l t s on this add state huh when it is coming into the uh, 0 1 state the important thing is d is 0 and tot early is 1 tot early is 1 is nothing but it will after doing the addition it should be loaded so that load operation is uh, done while making this the last state i have, have not uh, covered over here you can refer frank why the whole table is given even in a notes you can uh, refer it is the whole table is made it when it will be in a 1 1 state what will happen after 1 1 uh, it will definitely enter into the initial state and at that time it will make d equal to 1. So this is nothing but a truth table after making this truth table what will happen we need to convert this into the uh, using kmap we convert it into the boolean expression and we will make a combinational diagram and uh, state, re state register will draw the whole diagram you can refer the textbook. So that is nothing but what your whole your controller and the data path component design that will complete the RTL design process. Now next example we are conceiving the example of a laser based distance measurement. Now here uh, the basic fundamental is when there is an obstacle over here. If the button B is pressed the laser will be passed. Laser is on, laser will go. If there is obstacle then what will happen? Uh, from the obstacle laser will reflect and it will come back this is a sensor which is used if s is equal to 1 that means your laser is received and this d is nothing but a distance what how to measure a distance see when the laser is on so it is traveling from here to object then object to uh, this uh, over here so that means it is nothing but we want to measure this distance so this is nothing but it is traveling and then it is reflected so it is two times so here 2d equal to t, t is nothing but time taken to uh, reflect into it is traveling at the speed of a light. So this is our 3 into 10 is to 8 meter per second and uh, here what we are doing we are considering the clock frequency as 300 megahertz. So one clock period is 1 upon 300 mega 1 upon 300. So this is nothing but what I am giving I am getting a time and see here what we are doing we are using a counter to count this time. See the as laser will start, we will start the counter and we will stop the counter as the S signal will be received. So we are getting some counts into the time period, we will give you the time and this 2D equal to DCTR I am getting. So DCTR is nothing but what my final count value which I will get if I am dividing B by 2. So that is nothing but and D value is nothing but D register value. That we will see. Now what is D register? Uh, here you can see this is a d register so we need a counter which will count as the time as your laser will start and s will be received so we need a counter then we need a two registers one is to use the count value one is used to store this register this register is storing the shifter output what is shifter output this shifter is used for division operation as we have seen in the last we have to find out dctr is equals to d register by 2 so this we are doing it over here you can see uh, this adder is having one input as one and another input is nothing but your uh, one uh, another input is nothing but your count value which you are getting from this DCTR and this count value will be loaded into this if the uh, if this uh, DCTR register uh, load signal will be one this clear signal of both the register will make this signal uh, this register clear now for this first we need to make a state diagram now at the initial state this is the initial state in which L, L is equals to zero that means laser is off d register equal to 1 d register is equal to 1 that this is nothing but what your counter your uh, 
the final output right d register where you are going to store your final distance that needs to be zero next state when you are coming into the next state here you are making your counter equal to zero and uh, you are waiting for the b signal what is b signal if b is one that means your laser is pressed if b is zero that means you will wait over here now if b is becoming one it is entering into the s2 state and here what what we are doing in this state we are making l equal to one now when uh, you are entering into the s3 state at that time your laser is off and depending upon the s signal if you see here you are what you are doing you are when you are coming over here your laser is off your counter will start and your counter will continue till your s signal is coming if your s signal is coming then s is nothing but what your sensor has sensed the laser has reflected so that sense if it is one then what should happen your counter should start and it should give the distance if the s value is zero then it wait it will wait for the laser to be reflected and it should be received by the sensor now when you are coming into the s4 state d register is becoming equal to dctr upon 2 so that this this division is done by this uh, shifter as you must be knowing shift right and shift left is nothing but used for multiplication and division now and after this distance it is coming into the s1 register where what it will it is it is again wait it will again wait for your uh, this thing for the laser to be pressed again so this is nothing but what a basic state uh, high level state machine for the laser uh, based distance measurement now here you can see your input see dctr is nothing but d register dctr these are 16 bit output hence this is nothing but a high level state machine now these are data path component which we need to uh, see and these data path component will be controlled by the controller so from the controller you are getting d register clear load d dctr clear dctr load now next we'll see uh, how it is connected you can see b is the input to this controller d register clear these are output of the controller given to the data path so data path components are controlled by the controller now here you can see now what is the difference here we are writing finite state machine in which uh, first we are making l equal to 0 laser is off and clear the d register see the same thing the only name here d register is 0 so that d register here we are making 0 but here how will make z make it 0 by making d register clear signal equal to 1 now here when you are coming over here your laser is off you are clearing the count register what is count register that is nothing but dctr clear signal should be 1 over here when you are coming over here laser is 1 when you are coming over here your laser is off and you are waiting for the s signal so here what is happening here your addition will start this this addition will start and after doing this addition this addition will be loaded in dctr register if dctr load equal to 1 so this dctr load equal to 1 that we are doing it over here now once s signal is received then what will happen it will enter into the last state where it will make this so over here what will happen your day once this uh, S signal will be received. After receiving the S signal, what it should do? It should load this D register. Once the re so this division must be completed. This register is loaded. Once this is loaded, your Q re Q signal is ready. Q is nothing but your D, which is nothing but your final distance. So this is a very fast or very short. Uh, in short introduction to RTL design process we have considered two case studies laser uh, la uh, laser based distance measurement and soda dis dispenser we are uh, two case studies are still left uh, that is sum of uh, uh, sad that is sum of uh, addition and uh, one more is left so that will be clearing uh, that will be uh, explaining in a next lecture if you have any queries please post your queries thank you so much